Hello everyone, today I thought we'd take a look at a little parcel that arrived in the post today. It's the iZettel chip and pin reader, um, which, event which finally allows you to take uh, Visa cards um, via your mobile phone in the UK. So here it is, pretty much as it arrived. I have opened it and tested it um, and charged it a little bit before before doing this video just to make sure it worked but I've packaged it back up just so you can see roughly how it arrives in a relatively sturdy cardboard box upon opening it nice little tab at the top to lift out the inner compartment nice heavy duty foam, foam packaging so it's not going to come to too much harm in transit and then you've got the chip and pin reader which feels quite quite weighty Okay, a little sticker saying we take card payments, very simple pairing instructions, um, it is very very simple to follow through these, um, I've already paired it to my phone so I'm not going to show you that, but basically it, it is a case of you turn it on, you press and hold a button for 5 seconds, turn Bluetooth on on your phone and then just check the pairing passwords and go through it, there is quite a good description of it on the iZettle website as well if you need it um, and the, the website address is, is right there should you need to, to get the help with it in the bottom of the box is just a charging cable that is just a standard micro USB cable me myself until I find a decent um, case or wallet to keep that in I will just tuck it back inside that box and, and transport it in my vehicle as it is Okay, so taking a quick look around the device, um, at the top is a normal swipe reader. On the bottom is the, the card entry port. A bit difficult to see in this light, I think, but there, there's where your card goes. Power button on, on this side, right there. It is quite small and it is slightly recessed, so it's not the easiest of buttons to get to, but yeah. At least it's not going to get turned on accidentally. And there's the micro USB port for for charging. Okay, simple keypad. You know, one to ten with a yes, no, and back button. Okay. Now, if I press the the on button, the very first time you turn it on, it takes a little bit longer than this. It takes about 45 seconds for it to power up, but every other time's been almost instant. Bluetooth indicator, welcome message. And that's your, your battery level there. Obviously, as I said, I've, this came virtually empty. I've charged it a, a tiny little bit. Okay, so that's sat there on the welcome screen. At the moment, um, I've got it installed on my Galaxy Note, Note 2. Um, I seem to prefer Android at the moment, um, but it does work perfectly well with both the iPad and the iPhone um, pairing and using the app is is very very similar um, so let's turn turn the phone on okay so there we have it we have the iZettle app um, right on the home screen there what you will need to do if you've got an older version of the the app installed on your phone you will need to make sure you go to the app store and check that you've got the latest version because only the latest version supports the the chip and pin so there we are Re readers sitting on welcome we we start up start up the the app okay that's now showing that it's receiving a blue Bluetooth connection. That's saying insert swipe card, and it says right there insert swipe card. You can put in a a description of your your sale here if you wish. I'm going to put oops test in there just so so that I've got a reference, um, and then I'm going to put an amount of of two pound just to do this transaction. And then over here, um, if I take, actually that's that card there, now if I up here click the charge button, okay, that says processing, it's reading the card. This is a MasterCard, but I have tested it on Visa and it works exactly the same, and it says there, waiting for PIN, 
two pound and there you can see that there's there's three stars relating to to the pin on the screen um, if I just bring that out of sight a little bit just so that you can't see what pin number I'm putting in first digit so it's come up there and here second digit third digit fourth digit okay so now we've got the four in you can press the the green tick it says pin OK here it says processing and right there payment approved purchase approved okay so it says um, down here to to remove the card so on removal of the card okay nice little thank you message came up with an insert card number insert card so you can you're ready for your next transaction but over here you now have the option of emailing yourself a receipt um, or not I'm just going to skip that and it comes up thank you paid and that is the transaction done as simple as that